Hello, I'm Dr. Amir. Welcome to today's health session. Today we will discuss a disease known as stomach ulcer. Before we start our session, it is requested to subscribe the channel and share with your loved ones and community for health awareness. Dr. Amir, what is a stomach ulcer? A stomach ulcer, also known as a gastric ulcer, is a sore or lesion that develops on the lining of the stomach. It is a type of peptic ulcer, which refers to ulcers that can form in the stomach, small intestine, or esophagus. Stomach ulcers are typically caused by the erosion of the protective lining of the stomach, allowing stomach acid to come into direct contact with the underlying tissues. Dr. Amir, what are the causes of stomach ulcers? Stomach ulcers can occur due to factors such as Helicobacter pylori, H. pylori, bacterial infection, prolonged use of nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as aspirin or ibuprofen. Excessive alcohol intake, smoking, stress, and certain medical conditions. These factors can weaken the stomach's protective lining, leading to ulcer formation and symptoms like abdominal pain and bleeding. Dr. Amir, do stomach ulcers happen due to the use of spices? Spices themselves are not a direct cause of stomach ulcers. However, consuming extremely spicy foods could potentially irritate the stomach lining in some individuals, possibly exacerbating existing ulcer symptoms or discomfort. Dr. Amir, what is H. pylor? Helicobacter pylori, H. pylori, is a type of bacteria that can infect the stomach lining. It is a common cause of stomach ulcers and can also contribute to gastritis and other digestive issues. H. pylor is usually transmitted through contaminated food, water, or person-to-person -person contact, and its infection can be treated with antibiotics. Dr. Amir, how NSAIDs medicines causes stomach ulcer? Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, can cause stomach ulcers by inhibiting the production of substances called prostaglandins, which help maintain the stomach's protective lining. Reduced prostaglandin levels can lead to increased stomach acid secretion and decreased mucus production, making the stomach lining more susceptible to damage from acid, potentially resulting in ulcers. Dr. Amir, how does stress cause stomach ulcers? Stress doesn't directly cause stomach ulcers but can exacerbate existing conditions. Prolonged stress may stimulate excess stomach acid production and reduce the effectiveness of the stomach's protective mechanisms. This can make the stomach lining more vulnerable to damage from acid, potentially leading to ulcer formation or worsening ulcer symptoms. Dr. Amir, how to get instant relief from stomach ulcer? For instant relief from stomach ulcer discomfort, consider antacids to neutralize stomach acid temporarily. Consuming milk or eating plain yogurt may help soothe irritation. Avoiding spicy, acidic, or fatty foods and refraining from smoking and alcohol can also provide temporary relief. However, long-term treatment and medical guidance are essential for lasting relief. Dr. Amir, what are the signs and symptoms of stomach ulcer? Stomach ulcer symptoms include burning abdominal pain, often between the breastbone and navel, bloating, belching, nausea, vomiting, dark or bloody stools, and unintentional weight loss. These signs can vary in intensity and may come and go. Seek medical attention if you experience persistent discomfort or symptoms of a stomach ulcer. Dr. Amir, 
How you diagnose stomach ulcer patients? Stomach ulcers are diagnosed through methods like endoscopy, using a camera to visualize the stomach lining, blood tests for H, pylori infection, and breath tests. These tests help doctors visualize the ulcer and determine its cause, enabling appropriate treatment, which may involve medications and lifestyle changes. Dr. Amir, what is endoscopy? Endoscopy is a medical procedure that uses a thin, flexible tube with a camera and light at its tip, endoscope, to visualize the interior of the body, such as the digestive tract. It helps doctors diagnose and evaluate conditions like stomach ulcers by providing real-time images and allowing for biopsies or treatments. Dr. Amir, is stomach ulcer curable? Yes, stomach ulcers are often curable with proper medical treatment. Treatment typically includes antibiotics to address H. pylor infection, medications to reduce stomach acid, and lifestyle changes. Early diagnosis and adherence to treatment can lead to healing of the ulcer and prevention of complications. Dr. Amir, what are the risk factors for stomach ulcers? Risk factors for stomach ulcers include Helicobacter pylori infection, prolonged use of nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, advanced age. Certain medical conditions like liver or kidney disease, and high levels of stress. These factors can weaken the stomach's protective lining and increase ulcer susceptibility. Dr. Amir, what is the treatment of stomach or peptic ulcer? Peptic ulcer treatment involves antibiotics to eradicate H. pylori infection, proton pump inhibitors or histamine H2 receptor blockers to reduce stomach acid, and antacids for symptom relief. Lifestyle changes like avoiding trigger foods, quitting smoking, and reducing stress are also recommended to aid healing and prevent recurrence. Dr. Amir, what are the precautions for stomach ulcer? To reduce the risk of stomach ulcers, consider avoiding excessive NSAID medicines use, quitting smoking, moderating alcohol intake, managing stress through relaxation techniques. Maintaining a healthy diet rich in fruits and vegetables, and seeking early treatment for any symptoms. Adhering to prescribed medications and following medical advice is crucial for prevention and management. Dr. Amir, what is the role of nutrients in stomach ulcer? Nutrients play a role in supporting stomach ulcer healing and prevention. Vitamin-rich foods, like fruits and vegetables, provide antioxidants that aid tissue repair. Consuming lean proteins, whole grains, and fiber supports digestion and reduces stomach irritation. Adequate nutrient intake is essential for maintaining a healthy stomach lining and overall well-being. Thank you, Dr. Amir. It was wonderful knowledge shared for everyone, especially for the stomach ulcer disease patients and their loved ones. I wish to see you on another health topic. Goodbye. Please share your comments and subscribe to the channel. Also share with your loved one and the community for health awareness.